Hello YouTube, today we're going to be going over the pity system and how exactly it works. Before we start the video, I do want to thank everyone that's been supporting the channel. You guys are awesome and I really appreciate you all. I also want to let you guys know that I'm not going to be covering the event this time around. Um, there's a lot of people who are covering it already and I already figured they would be so I kind of planned to do a different type of video. So if you guys do want me to in the future cover the events though, let me know and I will consider doing them. I'm not opposed to it. But without further ado, let's get into the video. I particularly thought this was a good time to bring out this video even though right now there's an event going on just because Sinsa and Eve just came out, right guys? And some of you guys might be wondering if Car the Carleen banner and the Uriel banner transferred over to this one. And in the details it actually speaks about this and it says that Right here it says, this accumulated probability will not be cleared at the end of the time limited recruitment and will be carried over to the next time limited recruitment. So that means if you guys did pull in Carleen or Uriel Banner, it will carry over to this banner. Also something a bit unrelated because it's not about pity, but it does have to do with the standard banner is that they put Carleen and Uriel in the start standard banner, which I think is really, really cool. Um, they don't, we don't do that in other games if it's a limited unit. So the fact that they're doing this, I think is pretty awesome. Um, it doesn't show it here for some reason in the standard banner, but if you guys did read the event notes, it says right here that Carly and Uriel will be added the moment the update is done. Right here it says recruitment after the update and we'll have the same chance appearing as other six stars. So maybe they did add it and they just forgot to add it in the tooltip guys, but it, it does say it right here if you guys were wondering um, about that. But yeah guys, let's get back into the uh, pity video and talk about the percentages. The percentages uh, look like this every 10 pulls. If you guys can't see this in your own mobile, I'll read it out for you guys real quick. Pretty much after 50 pulls, I just put it for every 10 pulls. Uh, the 60th pull will be 25% and so on. It'll be like seven, the 70th pull will be 50. It'll just keep going up by 25% every 10 pull until 90. So I'm also a really huge fan of this, guys. I really like how fast it ramps up and how um, they just give you an, a, a better chance. So you most likely will never in your life have to go to pity because that the chances of you not getting pity before 90 is crazy. So. I actually like that a lot and if any of you guys had have had to go to 90 already I, I highly doubt it the game's not been out that long but yo please comment down below maybe someone in the future will watch this video that because that I, I honestly think that would be like near impossible with these rates which the rates seem good so let me let me know what you guys think about that in the comments uh, also we can talk about a way to track it uh, you can track the percentages right here guys um, pretty much once you hit 50 this will start going up by 2.5 every uh, percent every pull so if you guys are the type of people that like to track, you can just look at it right here. Uh, if you don't trust the game, you can just do it yourself manually, but that's pretty cool that they added this feature. Again, I don't think a lot of games have something like this. I guess some do have like history, so you can see what they um, what you pulled in the, in the past, but I think this is the first time I've played a gacha myself that, that they showed the percentage chances here, which is pretty cool. Do be aware guys, every single banner has a different pity uh, percentage, like they're not, if you pull a bunch on the standard banner and then try to get me guard, you're not going to be able to just get me guard and, and same with um, Eve and Sinsa. So if you guys are looking to get one of these characters, make sure you're pulling in the correct banners um, because the pity stacks up separately for each one. Last thing I want to go over guys is some misinformation I came across. I don't remember where I heard it, but someone said that you have a better chance to get a six star from the Iridon me guard banner, the rate up banner, than the standard banner. And that's just not true because it's a 2% chance. You can see it right here, chance to obtain six star, 2%. And right here, chance to obtain six star, 2%. It doesn't change for any of the banners. Even the limited banner, 2%. So all of them are 2%. Where I think they might have mistaken this information at is right here where it says 37.5% chance. It'll be Migard. Maybe they misread it and they thought that this was a 37.5% chance on every pull that it'll be Migard or something. But that's just not the case. Right here it says all recruitable Aurorians, but they're only 2%. Uh, the 37.5% chance is if you f finally do pull the six star in this specific banner, you'll get a better chance. And that's all it is, guys. So don't be fooled if you hear someone saying that it's a 2% chance for every banner. So I think that's all there is to cover on recruitment rate, guys. But if I did miss anything or if you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to ask in the comments. I will get back to you. Thanks for watching.